many ways, accounting is a language. Understanding a balance sheet, reading those footnotes, etc. But you outline in the book a few things that you felt were fundamentally required to be an investor or understand cycles. Accounting was one, but why don't we talk about a few of those? Well, I think, I think uh, everybody knows you have to understand accounting, you have to know finance, you should know something about history, but the most important thing, which they don't teach you in business school, is psychology. And uh, if, you, if you go back and look at the past, um, if you look at a, a graph of the economy for the last 50 years, it kind of looks like this. It's got an upward trend and very modest uh, divergence from the trend. Sometimes the, you know, the trend is a 2% two, is a two trend line. Sometimes it's up three and sometimes one. In extremes, it's up four or down one or two. Very modest volatility. If you look at company results, companies have leverage, financial and, and operating, and their profits go like this. If the, if a, if the economy is up 2%, profits go up 10. If the economy is up 20%, profits go up 30 and, and, and so forth. And so the, the um, and, and, if the, and if the economy is down two, then for a typical company, maybe profits will be down 15. So the, the graph of profits is much more volatile than the graph of uh, the economy. And then if you look at a graph of the stock market, it looks like this. Why? What's the difference? And the difference is psychology. And, you know, uh, Richard Feynman, the great physicist, said that uh, physics would be much harder if electrons had feelings. Uh, we walk in the room, we turn on the light switch, the lights go on every time. We don't even wonder about it. I don't know, I wonder if they're going to go on this time. But the, 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 that's because the electrons go in this pattern. They never go there. They never say, no, we're on strike. They never forget to move. They always do what they're supposed to do. But, but people have feelings and people rarely do what they're supposed to do, and they uh, often react in the extreme to the events that, that develop, and uh, those extreme reactions cause this extreme volatility. They overreact to things, and sometimes they don't react at all, and sometimes they don't react as they should. So I think that um, if, if you want to uh, exist in the investment world, and uh, you want to, you can just buy and hold good things if, if, you, if you want to take that approach. But if you want to improve upon that, I think it's very important to understand the ebb and flow of psychology and, and act accordingly.